Hello and welcome to another Common Core Algebra 1 lesson by eMath Instruction. My name is Kirk Weiler and today we're doing Unit 4, Lesson 8 on strange lines, vertical and horizontal. Before we get into this, let me remind you that you can find a worksheet that goes with this video as well as a homework set by clicking on the video's description or by visiting our webpage at www.emathinstruction.com. Don't forget about the QR codes at the top of each page. Scan those with your phone or your tablet. Bring you right to this video. All right, let's begin. So for quite a few lessons now, we've been talking about equations of lines, linear modeling, y equals mx plus b, y equals mx plus b, and a little bit more mx plus b. But today what we're going to do is we're going to do a relatively short lesson on two lines that kind of are outside the norm, right? Vertical and horizontal lines. Now, I still want you to never forget something that's essential, that's absolutely critical about any equation, not just about equations of lines, but any equation. A point lies on the equation if it makes the equation true, and a point doesn't lie on the graph of an equation if it makes the equation false. The thing about vertical and horizontal lines is that they have very, very simple equations, and we're going to get at them right now. All right, let's take a look at a horizontal line. I hope everyone understands why it's called horizontal, right? It's the idea that it's parallel with the horizon, okay? Now it says for us to write down two coordinate points on this line. So we're going to grab this one that's at negative 3, 1, 2, 3, 4. And let's grab this one that's at 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4. 5 comma 4. Question, what do they share in common? Well, they share the y-coordinate. And in fact, what's interesting is that every point on this line shares a y-coordinate of 4. Okay, the x-coordinates of course are different for each point on the line, but the y-coordinate is always 4, and that turns out to be its equation. Now, for a lot of students, they look at something like y equals 4 and they think, that's not the equation of a line, that's like the solution to an equation, right? 2y equals 8, so y is equal to 4, right? But that is actually the description of every point that lies on this line, because every point that lies on this line one thing makes it true, and that thing is the fact that its y-coordinate is 4. So let's take a look at a vertical line, right? Let's do the same thing. Two points that lie on that vertical line. Let's start with this one. That's at 2, comma, negative 1. And let's talk about this one, which is at 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, 2, comma, 4. What do they share in common? An x-coordinate of 2. And in fact, every point that lies on this vertical line has an x-coordinate of 2. Every single point, even if I don't draw them very well, has an x-coordinate of 2. So that's the equation of that line. And that's the one that really throws people off. What? x equals 2 isn't the equation of a line. It's like the solution of an equation, like x plus 7 is equal to 9. Oh, x is equal to 2. But when we're talking about points that lie in the coordinate plane and how to describe points on that line, on that vertical line, every single point shares one thing in common, and that's an x-coordinate equal to 2. So that becomes its, an equation, becomes its equation. We're going to summarize this in just a second, but still, pause the video now and write down anything you need to. Okay, let's do it. So, in summary, right, horizontal and vertical lines. Horizontal lines are characterized by the fact that all of their y-coordinates are the same. So everywhere along that, that red line, the y-coordinate is 5, no matter what point you pick, and therefore its equation is y equals 5. Every single point along that blue line has a y-coordinate of negative 2, and therefore its equation is y equals negative 2. Vertical lines kind of go in the opposite direction right? Every point along that pink line has an x-coordinate of negative 3. Just think about it. Take any point you want, any point, 
and its x-coordinate is negative 3. Likewise, any point along that orange line, its, uh, its x-coordinate is 4, and therefore its equation is x equals 4. Okay? So these are very, very tricky. We're very used to equations of lines looking like y equals 7x minus 2, or y equals 1 half x plus 4. But that's when both the x-coordinate and the y-coordinates change on the line. But with vertical and horizontal lines, one coordinate always stays the same, and that coordinate becomes its equation. I know that sounds a little bit weird, but let's get some practice with it. It's not too bad. Exercise 2. Which of the following equations represents a vertical line that passes through the point 5 comma negative 3? I love doing sketches in these cases, even when I don't draw the best straight lines. Let's take a look. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3. Here's my point. Let me draw it in red. Here's my point, and I want a vertical line. Oh, gorgeous, isn't it? Right? And the thing about that vertical line is, no matter where you're at on it, one, two, three, four, let's say, right? That's five comma four, or if I were right here, I would be at five comma one. If I'm right here, I'm at five comma negative three. Down here, I might be at, whoops, five comma negative six. There's one thing that's common about each one of these. Five, 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 x equals 5, right? So that's the whole deal with a vertical line and with a horizontal line, okay? Very, very simple. Almost simple to the point of being in your head, out of your head simple. But we'll use them from time to time. We'll see them in quite a few lessons coming up, okay? And they're very important for future math courses. So copy down what you need to on this page, and then I'm going to clear out the text. Okay, here it goes. Let's keep going. So we're just going to get a lot, a lot of practice in the next few, in the next few uh, problems, writing the equations of vertical and horizontal lines. So in exercise three, the first thing that we've got is we've got a vertical line. Now again, if you've forgotten, what, what's the deal? Is it, is it x equals? Is it y equals? This is what I want you to do. I want you to pick off two points. For instance, this is the point 3 comma 2. And maybe grab this one. And this is the point 3 comma 5, right? If that's not enough to convince you, pick off another point. This is the point 3 comma negative 3. What do they all have in common? The x-coordinate. And that's its equation, x equals 3. Right? Take a look at this one. How about this point? I'm going to write it over here. It's the point negative 4, negative 1. How about this point? That's the point negative 4, 1, 2, 5. Should be enough, but if it's not, how about this guy? That's negative 4, comma, positive 1. All of these are the same. x equals negative 4. I feel like changing my colors a lot today. Let's go with one that's horizontal. Let's pick this point. Right? That's the point negative 3, negative 1. Let's pick this one. That's the point 4, comma, negative 1. Why not this one? That's the point negative 1, negative 1. What's common to each one of them is the y-coordinate of negative 1. Right? So it's critical. Right? that you're able to look at these and figure out what it is that's true of everything that lies on, this, on these lines. And that's easy enough, especially if you lift, list out coordinate points. I'm going to clear this out, and then you're going to do the next set. Okay, here it goes. All right, it almost looks identical. See if you can write the equation of those three lines. All right, let's go through them. Um, again, at some point, you're going to just want to memorize, oh, vertical lines have these types of equations, horizontal lines have these types of equations. But for now, 
Let me stick with my method. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Five comma five. How about this guy? That's going to be five comma two. How about this one? That's going to be five comma negative one. Looks like they all share x equals five. Let's go to this one. That's one comma four. Let's go maybe out here, one, two, three, four, five, four, maybe here, negative two, four. So it looks like they all share y equals four. Let's go with this one. Got the point negative one comma two, the point three comma two, the point 6 comma 2 looks like they are all y equals 2. Okay? So, fairly simple, but weird, right? Strange looking equations of lines. Typically not y equals mx plus b. Okay. I'm going to clear the text out. And it's gone. Let's keep going. Okay. Still, Still on exercise three. Now we've just got a verbal description. Letter G, I want to write the equation of a vertical line passing through the point negative four comma five. I think it's very, very helpful to draw a picture in this scenario. All right, I'm going to grab some prefab lines, make my life a little bit easier. Now maybe go in red. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five. Right? I want a vertical line. And that was supposed to be vertical and it was supposed to be scooted over here. Oh well. Right? Let's make that a really big point. So now any point that lies on this line, you know, here I'd have negative four, comma two. Maybe down here I'd have negative 4 comma negative 1. Every point lying on this line shares the same thing, an x-coordinate. x equals negative 4. Okay. Now it says write the equation of a horizontal line passing through the point 3, 2. Okay, why don't we make some, uh, a red grid here. Okay. So, one, two, three, one, two. Right, now we want a horizontal line. We're going to take our best shot. Let's see how much of a disaster this is. Oh, hey, I almost got it that time. All right. And now, if I pick any point on this line, three comma two, five comma two, negative three comma two. Every single point on that line shares one thing in common, and that's a y coordinate of two. Right? See how easy that is? Easy peasy. Okay? So, I'm gonna clear this out. Copy down anything you need to. Okay, let's do it. So, last one. I love these types of problems. Exercise 4 asks us to sketch the region bounded by the three lines whose equations are given below. Label each with its equation. Find the area of the triangular region enclosed by the lines. You may want to use your calculator to create a table of values for the first line, or simply use facts about slope and y-intercept. And that's what I'm going to do. So let's kind of carve this thing apart. All right, we're already in blue, so let's, let's take a look at this line first. All right, that's a slanted line. It's slanted. Okay, we know that its y-intercept is negative 4, and we know that its slope is 2 over 1. All right, so I'm going to plot that y-intercept down here at negative 4, and then I'm going to go up 2 and to the right 1. Up 2 and to the right 1, up 2 to the right 1, etc. Likewise, I could go down 2 and to the left 1 as well. So now if I draw my nice line through that, okay, and it says label each with its equation. So this thing is y equals 2x minus 4. 
Okay, so now let's take a look at this. Now, for a lot of students, if, they, if I say plot the line x equals negative 1, a lot of people will be confused. They just come out here and go, ah, oh, there it is, there's negative 1. Well, that's one point on it, right? In fact, every point that lies on this graph, one thing has to be true, right? Its x-coordinate must be negative 1. So I would just plot some points, like negative 1, 0, negative 1, 3, negative 1, negative 2, and that should be enough for you to know that it's a vertical line. Okay? I can now then come in and draw my vertical line, label it with its equation, x equals negative 1. Okay? Finally, we can do this one, y equals 2. Key there is give me any point you want, just make sure its y equation, or sorry, its y coordinate is 2. So here's three points. Here's negative 2, 2. Here's 0, 2. Here's 4, 2. All right. And let's draw that line in. Label it with its, whoops, label it with its equation. y equals 2. And now it also asks me to find the area of the triangular region enclosed. All right, so I'm going I'm to carve that triangle out. Now, one of the nice things about this triangle is that it's a right triangle. And we can easily figure out what this length is, 1, 2, 3, 4. Right? We can also easily figure out what this length is, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And hopefully we know that the area of a triangle is base times height divided by 2. So 4 times 8 divided by 2, 32 divided by 2, for an area of 16. All right, so just a little bit of basic measurement there for area. Okay, I'm going to clear this out. So write down anything you need to, and then we'll finish up. Okay, here we go. All right, so most of the lines and most of the linear modeling that we'll do in this course will result in linear equations that, that could be put in the form y equals mx plus b. Vertical and horizontal lines, though, are much simpler because along a vertical line, the y-coordinate never changes. Sorry, my mistake. Along a vertical line, the x-coordinate never changes. And therefore, they get equations like x equals 5, x equals negative 2, etc. Along a horizontal line, though, a horizontal line, the y-coordinates don't change. So they get equations like y equals 5, y equals negative 2, y equals 3. Okay? So we want to be able to write those equations quickly. We want to be able to sketch their graphs quickly. So pay attention to that homework. Make sure that you do it and you understand it. For now, let me thank you for coming for another Common Core Algebra 1 lesson by eMath Instruction. My name is Kirk Weiler, and until next time, keep thinking and keep solving problems.